I know what you may be thinking. With every new update that comes to our beloved games, they always tend to make the game feel fresh and new for quite a while. And while they may be true, it can also cause just the opposite reaction within the community. These are five things that players hate about the Doors Hotel Plus update. What are some things you hate about it? Comment below and you better like and subscribe or else Rush will be laughing at you indefinitely. Number one difficulty. Of course, the developers have mentioned over on the Twitter pages that they wanted to increase the difficulty of the game along with its newest update for a while now. With the previous version and ending of the game being the same for over 6 months, players have found many ways to beat the game quicker with the use of shortcuts, or even skip large chunks of levels via exploits as well. But things take a drastic turn within the new Hotel Plus update. Many players weren't too happy within the community, especially when it came to the large difficulty ramp up within the greenhouse rooms. Even then? Way more people were upset about Room 100 being more difficult, especially when it comes to collecting all those electrical puzzle buttons. Doors 90 plus are too hard, Rush just appears and I can't even hear them with Max headphones. LOL, Door 100 is too hard, not going to lie. But guess what? Everyone has been complaining more about the rooms being too hard, especially when it comes to collecting the scanner at room A-1000. A-90 is too hard, like I stopped moving and I didn't touch my mouse nor my keyboard, he killed me anyways. And you even had a player said that he uninstalled Roblox and is never playing doors again because of the rooms being so difficult. A lot of people do call it a skill issue amongst newer players, but the difficulty is definitely something to be said when it comes to the new Hotel Plus update. Number 2 Fixed Rooms Going back to the previous version of Doors, one thing that made the game so unique was the random generation of many rooms throughout the whole entire hotel. There were only three rooms that were generally quote unquote fixed in the system. The reception room, the door 50 library, and also room 100. All the other rooms in between were always random and it made the game that much more unexpected when it comes to item chances in drawers and just enjoying the scenery of the game as well. Along with the new Hotel Plus update, new fixed rooms were added, such as the mini library before door 50, the room 60 secret and double basement rooms, Jeff's shop at door 52, and of course, the greenhouse rooms which take up the bulk of the ending. This removes 14 rooms from a once 97 randomized system and this in turn has turned off many players as the game just feels a lot more copy paste compared to its former self. The developers could fix this by altering the chances of the greenhouse rooms towards the end and maybe even moving the Jeff shop to be more randomized than usual. But I do agree, the game does feel a lot less randomized and it does make it a bit more stale after many gameplay sessions. Number 3 The Scanner Oh boy, this is going to be good. Everyone pretty much knows that if you can progress through the rooms all the way to room A-1000, a majestical new item known as the scanner can be used within the hotel as it acts as a night vision goggle device for dark rooms and could be used for finding helpful items pertaining to the objectives of the games, such as finding those electrical puzzle buttons. Considering the sheer difficulty of getting all the way up to the scanner, taking some players as much as 2-3 to three hours non-stop on the first try, many players would think that they would be able to keep the scanner indefinitely, right? Um, yeah, you're wrong about that. If you die in the regular game with the scanner, that item will be considered as a lost item and you will lose it forever. I lost the scanner because I died in the greenhouse. Yeah, got to A-1000, but the game decides to not give my badge and Rush killed me during a lag spike so I lost the scanner. 
So the only way to save the scanner is to put it inside of the rift and even then players have been saying that there's no point in even collecting the scanner if it's going to take up the rift as a trophy. And even worse, there's even bugs out there when retrieving the scanner from the portal. The device doesn't even work as it seems that it wasn't activated from the current run. Yeah, that's a big yikes right there. Now granted, the scanner is supposed to be a joke item, so the developers didn't really think about it too much, but hopefully we can find a better, more permanent use, especially considering the difficulties it takes to even reach the legendary item. Number 4, Glitches. Yeah, you already knew this one was coming. Whenever a game receives major updates, especially like Roblox Doors, it's bound to bring tons of bugs and glitches deep within the game's code. I'm looking at you, Splash, though it's not your fault at all. Players within the community have sent in thousands upon thousands of bug reports after the new update, some even still sending them even two weeks after its release. The more notable ones did include the soft locking void bug that can be found at door 100 if you are unlucky, to players even glitching through the floor within the rooms thanks to the A 120 entity. Players could even break the ending cutscene if they used a crucifix on figure right before ending the game in the elevator providing some rather interesting and weird moments for the game. But the worst bug that had the community complaining about the most is definitely the A-90 entity glitch where if they randomly spawn in and players stop just in time, they would fall through the void and the movement of falling would cause the players to get killed by the entity's jump scare. So many players were deep into the game, some as far as A-800 and A-90 only to run into this run ending bug. Again, it's not the developer's fault for the glitches, and Splash even worked extremely hard after the update to fix as many as they could. But in the end of the day, all we can do is enjoy the amazing work that they provided for us. For a quick number 5, it seems that Screech isn't the most hated entity within Doors anymore. With a quick scan through the official Doors Discord server, and with the help of a couple polls, folks now find A90 as the most annoying and also most hated entity within the game. Not only relatable to the floor glitch during its release, but generally due to the entity showing up completely random and in such short notice. It really just tests players' reaction times. But with that being said, what do you hate the most about the update? Let us know down below and let's discuss.